We've got a bath for 30 US dollars. And this is the room. Steigenberger never lets you down. Look at the view. On the shore of the Nile River is a stunning five-star retreat. The Steigenberger Resort Takti has great value. I stayed there for like $30 and I was mesmerized by the location. The perfect spot to explore the city, the temples of Luxor, while also witnessing the tranquility and the serenity of the riverside. You will love the quiet, secluded atmosphere. I personally felt in love with this hotel. I wanna get back as soon as possible, the value, the location okay it took us five minutes to get to the Steigenberger Resort Yachty there is the Nile uh, seems to be a nice garden and I saw the telephone okay 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 the building from the outside seems to be a bit run down definitely not extra luxury but again if that's really the price I think it's a good value, isn't it? Okay, it's a small world, isn't it? Is it the best good? Place. The best place in the whole looks of. What? Yes. Which one? This? This is very nice. Oh, thank you. I came here by chance, actually. So it's good. Okay. Okay, I have a good temperature. Thank you. Okay. Nice lobby. The guy was glad about it, they liked it. Fantastic floor to ceiling windows overlooking the Nile. The sitting area is okay. Nothing unique. I really like the background of the reception with the pharaohs. Thank you. I, I have to come back yet. <laughs> Thank you. So they actually, I just did the check-in on booking. It's gonna take five minutes to get to the system. Wow, guys, what do you think? For $27 plus taxes, probably gonna be 31. Oh, nice. This is so nice, guys. A little pool and bar over the Nile. Nice, Steigenberger never lets you down. And behind me, you see some of those boats that we will see often in the other videos of Luxor because those are the cruise boats that go from Luxor to Aswan and vice versa and stop along the way to visit all the different uh, temples. Let's see if our booking is ready. So the booking went through, we just have to wait a bit. So we're gonna go for a swim. Shokran. They gave us uh, the towel even before booking, which is cool. Let's go outside. Finally. Finally, after a whole day of driving through the desert. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. This is the thing about Steigenberger in Egypt. They're either super cool or very good, solid. Uh, yeah, the building is a bit run down. We still have to see the room, but what I've seen so far, I'm happy. It's clean everywhere spotless i've seen the bar the cafe everyone really professional so i'm glad of what i've seen so far oh, let me chill a bit guys i switched the place i changed the place what you guys think much better ain't it let's chill a bit you guys have been chilling for a while here this is uh, super dope it's such a bliss uh, it was a long time i didn't come back to luxor and it's hypnotizing. The sound of the river, <laughs> the calm breeze, the chill and the peace in the air. You gotta try it, guys. I really wish you were here. 
If you want to move around Luxor with style, you can rent a boat directly from the riverside at the Steigenberger Act. Yes, it's gonna cost you a bit more than if you take a boat outside. The guys working here are extremely professional. And going directly from the pool of the hotel to the boat to central Luxor is an unforgettable experience. That's what I did to visit the temple of Luxor, actually. Check the video on the channel to know more. Now, let's explore the room together. Steigenberger never lets you down. Look at the view. Thank you very much, Nubi. Hello. See you uh, later. See you later. I'm loving this room. I mean, think about it. We paid around 30 USD. It's the same amount that I paid in Gona for some French fries and two Cokes and two beers. Leather uh, testiera. I don't know how you call it in English. Minimal, sophisticated. Television with the English channels. The phone, of course, if you need. A little desk, complimentary water, teapot with Nescafe. Here you can put some ice. A bit of uh, modern decor. Let's see here, hangers, more hangers, the wardrobe in perfect condition, the safe, blankets if you cold, hair dryer, and this is a hair dryer that you can really use wherever you want, not like those who are fixed to the toilet and you have to dry your hair next to the toilet, it's not that handy. Let's look at the, at the toilet and of course, you know, later we'll have uh, the shower review. Wow, we've got a bath! for 30 US dollars. This thingy here, shampoos, hair conditioners, grow it, working perfectly. That's the toilet, abstract art. If you wake up in the morning, you didn't have your coffee, you can look at the art. I mean, no, jokes apart. For what we paid, this is incredible. And again, and again. mini bar let's look what's inside well i can put my own drinks in there so let's look at the bright side okay hot okay with this you can switch from this to this yeah if you want to do the shower the pressure is good now it's really hot but let's have a bath <sighs> I needed this. Beautiful, guys. There is something in this hotel. Maybe the river, the water just passing by. I'm, I'm loving this place. And at night it looks dope, isn't it? Good morning! Good morning! Look, mamma mia, ragazzi! Mamma mia. Is it better at morning or at night? Let me know that in the comments. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful, guys. I slept amazingly. The mattress are awesome. Uh, now we're ready to go to the Karnak Temple. And there, of course, is going to be another video, the Valley of the Kings and all that. Yeah, breakfast. Like everything in this hotel, the breakfast was unforgettable. The food was okay, there was a wide selection of international cuisine, omelettes, waffles, pancakes, croissants, veggies, fruits, cereals, basically whatever you need you're gonna find it. But it's the outside alfresco terrace over the Nile that it's unforgettable. Birds chirping, the sound of the Nile flowing by, there is something in the energy that I can't describe. I was feeling so blessed having breakfast there with such natural beauty around. Again, we're talking about a value hotel. This is not a hyper luxury hotel. I just love this hotel. I love it. Opposite to the restaurant, there is a bar. They have beer and local spirits. I would have liked to see imported alcohol, but the sleek layout and the floor to ceiling windows made me love this bar anyway. In the hotel there is a gym as well. It was kinda small, you did have some dumbbells. If you really wanna train, you can train. But it's not the best gym in the world, not too many machines and so on. If you guys are in Luxor and know a better hotel with a better value, please let me know. I'd be happy to review it. And if you wanna visit the Karnak Temple Complex, watch this video.